Greetings family, peace, love, and black power. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. First off, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and all my viewers who have been tuning in to my videos. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate the love and the support. Thank you very much, family. With that said, I'm going to move on to this vlog. This vlog is a second um, segment of my book review. Today's book review is on Big Black Penis Misadventures of Race and Masculinity by Sean Taylor. This book was copyrighted in 2005, and I'm going to read um, a couple of the excerpts on the back of the book. Um, first of all, um, this first one is on James Cagney Jr., who is the author of Ebonics Play and uh, Breakbeat Jesus. He says, Sean Taylor is a foul-mouthed preacher and a ghetto philosopher whose work has us acknowledging some deep truths about ourselves while we're laughing our asses off. This book contains powerful essays and twisted thoughts on sexuality, fathers, and violence. Sean's daring at telling the truth about himself at all costs is spellbounding. He puts himself on display in order to get us to re-examine our relationships, our values, and ourselves. Few people have the guts and brilliance to pull off the emotional high um, wire act that Sean tra uh, trapezes across effortlessly. effortlessly. So anyways, that was um, James Cagney. I'm not going to go to the second one only because it's, a, it's another paragraph there. And really, I want to get to the meat of what this review is on. First of all, I'd like to say that the book is very interesting. It's not a, a very uh, thick book, as you, as you can see. Um, but he covers quite a few subjects in, this, um, in the book. And in particular, I want to read you guys something, okay? I'm going to share something with you. This is an experience he went through at a Chinese restaurant, and it goes like this. He goes up to the counter and the uh the guy behind the counter says, Yo, what up my what up nigga? What you want? Straight he says, straight up deer in the headlights time. I had to look around the place to check to see if he was speaking to someone else. Did this cat just call me a nigger? He couldn't have. I had to make sure, excuse me? What what you want nigga? I got it all. I don't even have to tell you how, sh how sh in shock I was. All I was trying to do was get something to eat. But now, I had to enter into the part of black American existence that I hate, the role of the cultural educator. I scanned my mental file cabinets, hoping to find less volatile words than the ones I wanted to use. Let me tell you, it took some doing, but I felt that I knew just what to say. I had two missions that needed to be accomplished. The first, to re-educate this cat against using the word in my in any context the second to let some of the anger that I was to let go some of the anger I was feeling yo man the word is not cool to use on any other day you and me would be brawling right now but I'm gonna chalk it up to you uh, not knowing any better so from the point from this point forward you need to stop saying nigger nigga nizzle or any other version of the word the word is offensive and has a and has a whole history of pain for my people. So he continues, the word is offensive and has a whole history of pain for my people. I came in here treating you with respect and you should treat me the same way. There, I told him, I gave him just enough of a threat mixed with a clear explanation and just a hint of treat others as you want to be treated tossed in there at the end there is no way in hell that this dude could argue against what I said or so I thought damn nigga why are you so sensitive all I was trying to do was make you feel welcome and you gonna threaten me nigga please you want something or what nigga what did I just tell you about using that word Jay Z said right Jay Z said if he can say it, I can say it, he said it. <laughs> okay. So, he goes on to say, the power of his conviction was fairly impressive. It was time to switch tactics. 
It was now time for the Doing to Others remix. I have used the remix with much success numerous times and I was damn sure that it, would, it could work here. Without any thought to, to the percussions, I gave it to him. All right, you non-jazz playing left turn from the right turn lane. Not one of your women have their natural hair color, dog eating gook. Let me get three chicken dumplings, a steam bun, and an egg roll, you slant-eyed son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what it says in the book. <laughs> um, this Nick, this Negro uh, simulacrum had the nerve, the sheer audacity to get mad at me. <laughs> Here you go. Wait, how are you gonna come up into my place and dog me like that? That's fucked up. I showed you kindness, and you diss me. Fuck you, nigga. If I were you, I'd leave and never come back to the CT. Now. I'm gonna skip part of this family because I want to get to the to the main meat of this that I really wanted to share with this vlog here. He says, I guess it is obvious that the word nigger bothers me. The disgusting part is that I'm one of the few black folks that I know that finds the word disgusting. Every time I hear that word or one of the many derivatives, pictures of lynchings, cross burnings, and beatings by the police invade my consciousness. It's as if the word nigger is an unlimited run of trading cards. I'll give you two nigger bitches for one dumb nigger and two niggas. Collect all 100,000. Folks who don't deal with race, color in their daily lives, white people and sellouts, try to convince the world and themselves that race is no longer a factor in this country. And that the use of nigger is just a semi-embarrassing semi colloquialism. Col you know what I mean. Nigger is the new man or dude or homie. If it is no longer a factor, why is it that some, so, so many black folks, and in my existence men in particular, feel so utterly dehumanized when this world is hurled in our direction like a little uh, low self-esteem grenade? And then he says, the shit explodes, and we begin to doubt ourselves, thinking that we are the lowest of the low. It's no fun being hated or mistrusted for something like skin color. Okay? If you want to hate me, hate me for my politics, my taste in clothes, and music, how I call women sweetheart, whether I know them or not. Hate me for anything other than my enhanced melanin. And... Get nigger out of your mouths, you too, black folks. This is one word that I don't feel can be reclaimed. All we have done is open the door of its use to every other culture on the planet. And then when someone calls them on it, they want to say, well, you say it. Just leave it alone, brothers and sisters. That's what I, that, that's what I go on to. So anyways, I'm going to end this with this last part. He goes into a list of other names. A nigger by any other name is what it's called. And I'm going to go down that list for you. Tar Baby. Africoon. Antique Farm Equipment. Do you know somebody on social media called me that recently? Antique Farm Equipment? I had no idea what the F that was. But now I get it. But anyways. Black Apples. Because we hang from trees. You know. Uh, Billy Rubin. The pigment that makes feces brown is called Billy Rubin. I didn't know that. Okay, that is a trip. Blackie, Blue Gummer, Boogie, like the man, Coon, Rope Neck, Bootlick. You know what? Actually, he goes on down the list, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep going down the list because actually some of them, uh, you know, the racist trolls would probably like to use, uh, but nonetheless family this is the book again it's called big black penis misadventures in race and masculinity by sean taylor it's a really good read it will open your mind to different things it sure helped me out i um the author leaves his uh, uh contact information in the book and i believe that i uh, ended up writing 
to him and he corresponded back to me. It was really short, but it was just something I was congratulating him on the book, but nonetheless, really cool person. Just wanted to share this with you, family. I'm going to be sharing others with you as well. Um, going on 500 subscribers, I just wanted to give you guys all a very big thank from the bottom. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, until the next vlog, peace, love, and black power. This is Guru. Thanks again. I'm out.